Well, hello and welcome to Cornerstone's quick video on how to use Planning Center to access your audition um, resources such as song charts, MP3s, and lyrics for your upcoming auditions. The first thing you're going to want to do is open up your email client, whether that's Gmail or a web-based um, email client. I'm actually using um, Apple Mail, a desktop third-party client that accesses my email. So just open up wherever your email goes to. Um, and I'm going to show you two emails that you'll be receiving. The first one is just a welcome to Planning Center email. You'll notice that it's just saying, hey, you've been signed up, you have an account, here is your account information. So you can see my username, subscriptions at ryanaxtel.com, and my password, j6r6x. Now I could click on this link right here, planningcenteronline.com, I could plug in my username and password, and I'm good to go. Another email you're going to receive um, says when you've been requested. So this email says, I've been requested to serve on November 7th at 8 a.m. Okay, so this is for the adult auditions, and I'm an adult auditioner. I can either accept or decline this date. Once I respond to those buttons, it lets the team at Cornerstone know that I've accepted or declined. So it's a great way to keep in contact um, and let people know exactly what you're able to do and what you can't. Um, now, 8 a.m. isn't my exact audition time. That's the time that the auditions start. I would need to make sure that when Cornerstone emails me to confirm, they'll give me, you know, maybe it's 1 o'clock, 12.30 p.m. I would want to put that in my calendar. But I'm going to go ahead and accept the date. When I click Accept, um, it's going to open up the plan in the browser. Now, this automatically logged me in. Um, if I'm going to go ahead and log out real quick. If it doesn't log automatically log you in, you would take your username and password, and up at the top right of the screen, I'd put in my subscriptions at ryanaxel.com username and my password, which was j6r6x. Then I would hit log in. Okay, and now it's going to show me that my schedule has an upcoming date because I've been scheduled for November 7th, and it says you are confirmed because I hit the accept button. Now if I can't make it, I could hit decline, in which case, if I do that, It'd pop up something where I could say, hey, my daughter's sick, I can't make it, okay? If you have to decline, make sure you do that. If not, we can go ahead and click on auditions, and it's going to open up the file. Okay, here is the audition scene, and it shows all the songs that are being used for auditions on that day. So drummers are auditioning with The Time Has Come, and Chain Breaker, electric guitarists are auditioning with I Adore You, and All Because of Jesus, so on and so forth. So I'm a bass player, so I'm going to be auditioning with the song Hallelujah God is Near in the key of A, and You Are God in the key of G. Now there's two ways to access um, the songs. Um, at the top right, I can click Rehearse, and you'll see on the drop-down menu there's a media player. If I select that media player, it's going to show me all of the songs. Now I wanted Hallelujah God is Near, so I could scroll down to Hallelujah God is Near, and I could play that song right from the scrolling from the Flash uh, media player. So if I want to do it that way and jam along, I can do that. If I want to download them along with the song charts and you know put them on my iPod, um, I would go over here to where it says the song title, Hallelujah God is Near. I'm going to click this little drop-down button, and on the far right side, I can see that there's two attachments. There's a Word document that's a chord chart, and there's actually an MP3. So I'm going to click on the Word document, and I'm going to tell it that I want to save it to my desktop so I can practice it at home. Then I'm also going to go ahead and download the MP3, and I'm going to tell it to save to my desktop as well. So now I have the MP3 for that song and the chord chart. Now you could do this for all the songs that you are scheduled to rehearse. I would need to do it for You Are God. I'd do the same thing. Click the drop-down menu. Click on You Are God document and You Are God MP3. Now that those are downloaded um, to my computer, I could open up the chart, um, which is going to allow me to play along if I need the chords and stuff like that. Um, I could also open up that MP3 in iTunes or whatever music player you use um, to jam along. And, you know, the charts are going to be in the same key. So right here I can see uh, the song chart. I can practice my bass part by listening to the MP3 and making sure I'm playing with the corresponding chords on the chart. And when you're done in Planning Center, you can just click Log Out. And it'll log you out. So this is a great way that we can keep in contact with you by giving you the most um, up-to-date song charts and stuff like that. And if you have any questions, you can just let us know by emailing us at auditions at cornerstonechandler.com.